I like snakes and lizards. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not like a professional makeup artist, I am not some beauty guru, I am just somebody who really likes art and really likes reptiles and I decided to put those two things together and this is what we got. So yeah. This look was inspired by the beautiful colors and patterns of my Pueblan milk snake Rosa. So shout out to her. If you like this makeup look and you want to see more stuff like this, then hit like and subscribe and I will be sure to make more fun videos like this. Also follow my social media. You can follow me at Red's Floor of Phoniverse on Instagram. All right, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Absolutely no idea. So we're just going to wing this, and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is prep my face. Here, I'm just going in with a toner and a cotton pad to remove any leftover oil and dirt that may be on my face. Then I'm just using a moisturizer to moisturize and hydrate my skin. So next, I'm gonna be using Angel Veil by NYX. I really, really love this primer. Honestly, it's like a real life filter. It just automatically just smooths out your whole complexion and really prepares your face for makeup. Here I'm using Born to Glow by NYX. Um, I mixed it with a little bit of a lighter foundation color that I also had laying around just cause it was a little bit too dark. We're just gonna blend that all out with a foundation brush. I'm just blending it out using this stippling and dabbing type motion. And don't forget to bring that foundation down your neck and blend it out. So for those hard to reach places that my foundation brush could not get to, I'm just using a wedged beauty blender to get into the places like under my eyes and in the corners of my nose and anywhere else I may have missed as well. Here I have a trio of matchsticks from Rihanna's Fenty Beauty line. Um, I have a few highlighters and contours as well, but I'm going to be using this cool toned contour shade uh, to contour my face. I find that a lot of contours tend to be really orangey and it just doesn't look good on my face. I don't know if it's because I'm pale or I have like a pinky undertone. But honestly, Rihanna Fenty Beauty has so many colors and skin tones to choose from. I'm sure that you will not have a problem finding something in her collection. So there's like two ways for me that I like to put on contour. Contour. Um, I either directly put it on my face if I want more of an intense look, or I'll just kind of rub it off onto my brush for a more lighter look as you saw me do earlier. Now we're gonna set our foundation with some powder. Here I got a sample from Sephora by uh, It Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. So this is my first time trying it out and um, I liked it. I have no complaints. It did its job. Good job. Good job It Cosmetics. Alright, time for the fun part, the eyebrows. 
So I'm just going to take a little spoolie and I'm just going to brush through my brows and put them into place. Next, I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Brow Struck Dimension Powder in medium brown. As you can see, I've absolutely smashed it, but it still works, so all is good. All is good. I'm just going to be going with the natural shape of my eyebrow. Um, I find that if you use a very fine angled brush, you can get a pretty sharp look without having to go over it again with foundation. A few years ago, I did have my eyebrows microbladed twice, but unfortunately, right away, the treatments did not stick, so I never went back to get it done because I felt like I wasted my time and my money. So I just went back to drawing my eyebrows on my face. I've used a lot of eyebrow products, and I find that most gels or pomades will dry out over time, so I opt out for just using good old powder. And if there's any mistakes that you've made, you can just go in with a fine brush and clean that up with some foundation. I forgot to moisturize my lips, so for some reason I'm going to do that right now as I have one eyebrow on my face. Um, I am using the Agave Lip Balm by Bite Beauty, and honestly, this is hands down the most moisturizing lip balm I have ever tried. You gotta try it. So we got one eyebrow down, we got one more to go. And bada bing bada boom, and it's done. Alright, so we're gonna prepare the eyes for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer in Champagne. for eyeshadow. I have absolutely no clue what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be using the Swear By It NYX palette. I've had this palette for quite some time, but I'm gonna be using kind of like this peachy tan shade to put as a base color on my eyes, and that will also be used as a transition color as well. So now I'm going to be going in with the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, Volume 3. I'm going to be mostly using a lot of these reds here. And this palette was actually on sale in Sephora, so I scooped it up for a pretty great price and I absolutely love it. The colors are super pigmented and so pretty as well. So I decided that we're going to be doing a cut crease for this look, so I'm going to start mapping out that crease with my first lightest red shade. Then I'm going to go back in and pick up more of that color and start to build up on it. Then go in with a fluffy brush and blend it all out. Now I'm going to start going for some of those darker shades of red. And once again, I'm just going to go over that cut crease and I'm just going to keep building up that color and blending it out. I also wanted to say that the makeup brushes that I'm using in this video I got off of Amazon for less than $20 and they are the best set of $20 makeup brushes I have ever bought. So I'll put the link for those in the description box below. Time to cut that crease. So I'm just going to be going in with a super light colored foundation. It's almost white, but not quite. And um, I'm just going to be using a very fine detailed brush to go and cut that crease and make it really sharp. I'm going to 
gonna be picking up this yellow orangey shade from my Swear By It palette and I'm just gonna apply that to the outer corner of my eye. I don't know what I was attempting to do here. It looked kind of cool, but later I did change it back to the nice fade look because I just felt it didn't really work with my eyes, but it does look kind of cool for now. Now I'm gonna go in with this white eyeshadow from The Body Shop and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. Now we're moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using NYX's Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner. Now how you do your eyeliner is up to you, but this is how I like to do my eyeliner. I kind of do like a line on either side of my eye on how angled I want the eyeliner to be. And then I'll kind of draw an outline of how I want the wing to look. Then I'll go in and I'll start to fill in that outline and make it all black. Once the wings are filled in, I'll then go to the inner corner of my eye and I'll start to connect a line from the inner corner of my eye to the wing that I've just created. With the eyeliner, I am then going to cut the crease even further I won't lie, this is not the easiest thing to do. It does take a really steady hand and some concentration, but just try to follow the cut crease that you've already made before with the eyeshadow and use that as a guide for your eyeliner. Now I'm adding some details with the eyeliner and I'm creating this kind of water drop look to the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to go back in with that white eyeshadow and highlight some of the parts of my face, like my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with some actual highlighter. I'm using Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Duo Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. And then I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face. I wish the highlighter would pick up as well as it does in real life. This highlighter is honestly amazing. Unfortunately, I'm just using my phone to record, so it's not picking up the best of quality, but this highlighter is super like golden and shimmery and I absolutely love it. I'm just using this mascara by NYX. I'm not a really big lash person. I will honestly buy whatever is on sale and in the stores. Um, I don't wear false eyelashes or anything like that. I don't buy expensive brands of mascara. Just whatever's on sale and is cruelty free. I'm just going to go back quickly with some of that darker red and some of that orange and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. As I said, I didn't like the look that I had before, so I went back in and I just faded out that orange into the white. Now we're moving on to lipstick. I couldn't choose which color I wanted because I thought the look would be good with either a red or a black, so I tried out both. 
Here you can see me using the red, which is by Too Faced, and this color is called Lady Balls. Lady Balls! So here you can see me applying Lady Balls to my face. All right, I'm just gonna do my hair quickly, which I'm just gonna straighten and keep it simple. guys so much for watching I really appreciate it if you guys like this video then please like and subscribe and this is my first YouTube video so please leave a comment below and give me some feedback that would be greatly appreciated I also promise that next time I will take my phone and turn it the other way Ah, yes. Too spooky for you. Ha ha.